Good morning, everyone. Today is July 13th, 2021. And for two weeks and a few days, uh, I would like to focus a little bit on my study for uh, preparation of ANGO, uh, which is starting from July 17th and end on July 31st on you know uh, United States time. So, you know, I'm sorry for cutting my uh, chanting really short, but we are going to chant the passages on the 18th vow and the fulfillment of the 18th vow for these two weeks and few days. So please, Jamie and Gashio, please put your palms together. Namo Amida Butz, Namo Amida Butz, Namo Amida Butz, Namanda Butz, Namanda. ぐ、せっん、よ、じゅ、きょう。せっんが、とくぶつん、じっぽ、しゅ、じょ、ちいしん、しんぎょう、よく、しょう、が、こ、ないし、じゅ、ねん、やく、ふ、しょう、じゃ
uh, ancient Korean countries. You know, Buddhism is one of them. And some powerful people in the politics like Hatta clan was originally from ancient Korea. And also, also it is said that Prince Shotoku had advisor monks who are originally from ancient Korean countries. And according to one of the history books, it is said that, said that Emperor Sushun aspired to save Nina from Silla. And he wanted to send army to help Nina. And Prince Shotoku went against the emperor. Emperor Sushun ignored the advice from the prince, but ended up with not sending the army for the first time. But the second time, Prince Shotoku agreed to send the army and ancient Japan won against Silla. But eventually there was severe counterattack by Silla and ancient Japan lost the battle. So this is what is written in Chronicle, Chronicles of Japan and one of the biography, uh, biography of Prince Shotoku. And Prince Shotoku mentions that the people in Silla are like greedy wolf. So according to these history books, uh, somehow Prince Shotoku had negative image against Silla. And this episode kind of teaches me that Prince Shotoku was not a you know, saint-like person. He was really a human being. You know, Pr Prince Shotoku probably had strong connection with Pakshe. Uh, from the viewpoint of Pakshe, uh, Sila is enemy. Uh, Pakshe and Sila was actually the ally, ally, and they fought together. But in 553, King of Sila betrayed Pakshe, invaded the area of Pakshe, and the, after the passing of King Seonmyeon in 554, they were enemies since then. So from the perspective of Propakshe, the people of Silla was like greedy wolf. But in another writing, such as the origin and history of Shitennoji Temple, uh, Prince Shotoku said, Pakshe, Koryo, Nina, and Silla are greedy wolf. Greedy and rapacity are rampant. And actually, uh, there are no words of all sentient beings are such that in biographies of Prince Shotoku or Chronicles of Japan. So this is the word Shinran Shongin added. And some people say that Shinran Shongin added these words to discriminate Korean people, but I don't think so. You know, as the episode of Emperor Sushun and Empress Suiko trying to save Nina, I believe Shinran Shongin understood Nina representing ancient Japan. So this wasa is not talking only about the people of ancient Korea, but also the people of ancient Japan too. So we all act with greedy mind. And with this greedy mind, we hurt many people. And we all should rethink our own actions through encountering the wisdom of Amida Buddha. So this is how I appreciate uh, today's lesson, and I hope today's explanation helped. And in closing, please join me in the show. Please put your palms together. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Butsu. So this will conclude today's morning service and I hope you will have a great day today and hope to see you tomorrow morning. So thank you for attending today's service.